very quick tutorial on how to export and save within Affinity. Hello, welcome back to my Affinity tutorial series. This is only going to be a very short video, uh, but uh, just looking at the differences between saving and exporting uh, within Affinity Photo. So let's hop over into Affinity. So this is the project I was working on in the previous tutorial. Uh, I've got a number of layers to it uh, down here, and now I want to save this. So file, and save. Now bear in mind that what I opened was a JPEG uh, image. If I hit save, look what happens. It says that the document um, contains non-pixel elements. In other words, I've got layers to it. So it has two, gives me two options. I can either flatten it and save and overwrite the, the image uh, with this modified version, or I can do a save as, which will enable me to save it as an Affinity Photo file. So I'm going to do save as. And you'll notice here that the save as gives me just one format, um, well, two actually, an AF photo or an AF template. Uh, I'm going to save it as an AF photo uh, with the same name, just different extension, and save. So there we go. And that has preserved all the layer information in there. Now, suppose I wanted a JPEG version uh, of this uh, or some other format. Uh, file, save as. You might think if you've used Photoshop, this is the obvious way to do it. But when you come here, you'll see we've only got the option of AF Photo and AF Templates, neither of which is what I want. So I'm going to cancel that. The way we do it is File, Export. And Export gives me a number of options. PNG, JPEG, PSDs, and um, things like that. Now, we want a JPEG, so I'm going to select that. Uh, I can choose the quality. I can actually adjust the size of it. So if I just wanted a smaller version to go online from this, I could say, oh, 1024 pixels um, on there. Uh, I can move my quality down a little bit to save a bit of space. And notice as I'm doing that, it's recalculating the space. If I leave it at 100, it's quite a, a relatively large file, 766 uh, kilobytes. Bear in mind, I've changed the size of it. If I bring it down even to 90, can you see it's a third of the size? So even that just small change will help um, um, save the size on your file. And I'm just going to export that. It offers it in the, the folder where I was. And I'm just going to say, v2 on there because I don't want to overwrite my other files. So save and that's done it. And that is how you export files within Affinity Photo. Short video this time so I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one and until then keep making great photos. Bye for now.